is up guys it is still not a very well joe from joe talks wrestling here and i am bringing you my wwe hell in a cell predictions video now before i get into that i just want to go over some stuff that's going to be happening um obviously i'm sort i'm coming to the end of being ill uh hopefully by tomorrow i should be feeling much better but Staying up till four in the morning will not help me with that. So I have cancelled watching Hen and a Cell live. Uh, me and Zach were going to watch it and react, but uh, instead we're well, we're both not feeling too great. So we've said it would be best if we both didn't watch it together. And then in the morning I'll watch it uh, the entire show, and then do my reactions in the morning. Um, which is obviously a lot of YouTubers do that anyway, but it just sucks for me because that means I can't check any social media. Um, like throughout the day until I've watched the whole show um, uh, because it's just spoilers everywhere. So that's that. Um, and the other thing is Hell in a Cell has literally got four confirmed matches, which is a bit like, okay, what, what the hell? Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so coming up first... Uh, and the first match we've got is Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns versus Rowan and Harper. Uh, Eric Rowan and Luke Harper. I have got Eric Rowan and Luke Harper winning. Plain and simple. Just because, you know, they've just formed again. Um, I do believe that Daniel Bryan is turning babyface. So, you know, give them a big, like, push. Um, but yeah, all in all, I've got Harper and Rowan winning. Next up, I have got Charlotte Flair versus Bailey for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, this is a very difficult one because last month at Clash of Champions, I predicted Sasha winning, saying that the Boss and Hug connection, uh, I hate that name, uh, would hold both the championships of Raw and SmackDown. However, that didn't happen. Um, and do I think Bailey's going to retain against Charlotte this time round? No, I don't. I think Charlotte's going to be winning. Um, and she's going to be a God knows how many time women's champ. But I th think that it's about time that Charlotte takes the championship off of Bailey. That brings us to our next match, which is a Hell in a Cell match between Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks for the Raw Women's Championship. I have got Sasha Banks winning this time round. Uh, obviously, it's Hell in a Cell. It's no DQ. She doesn't have to win clean. Um, so obviously, you know, she can win with like a bank statement with like using a chair or something cool like that um it's obviously brutal so it's not a normal one-on-one -on -one match the hell in a cell and the you know the no dq matches is where the hills benefit so i've got sasha banks beating becky lynch and taking the raw women's championship and that brings us to our main event of the evening the universal championship match between the fiend bray wyatt and the champion seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is still my favourite wrestler, has been for years now, and uh, but I can say with confidence that he is going to get his ass handed to him and The Fiend is going to win the Universal Championship on Sunday. Either that or they're not going to make him lose clean. Like he could just turn around and be like, no, I don't want the title. I just want to punish Seth and he just disappears halfway through the match. The lights go out and Bray is gone. Uh, so I could see that happening if they think it's too soon to put the belt on him, but they've already promoted the match. Um, yeah, but just if just don't have him lose. Like, there's nothing I can think of worse than Seth hitting like three curb stomps and pinning him one, two, three. Like that would that sucks. Uh, but yeah, no, I 100% think that the Fiend is going to be winning. Um, so there's not much more to it than that. Bray Wyatt's going to win the Universal Championship from Seth and Hell in a Cell. Do I think there's going to be any crazy spots? Potentially. Um, is the cell still red? That's my question. Is it still the red cage? Um, <laughs> but, well, no, it might be. Because when Ramblin' Rabbit did his thing on SmackDown, it was um, the red, they used the red cage. So, yeah, I reckon the Hell in a Cell is still red. But, yeah, other than that, I believe that Bray Wyatt is winning the Universal Championship. And there you go. There was my Hell in a Cell predictions. I mean, these videos normally go 10 minutes, but this one is very, very short um, because there's only four matches confirmed. I do believe that um, over the course of today and tomorrow, a few matches will be announced on Twitter or something because obviously we've got a kickoff show as well. So, you know, they, they've got to fill time. 
Um, but I don't know. I feel like these are just going to be thrown together matches, like you know, have it heavy machinery versus um, the revival or something. Just they're just going to throw in something, um, just completely random. But I'm recording this for me in England. It is. 3.30 on a Saturday, so anything after this, no idea. Uh, but yeah, this video will be going up later because literally about 10 minutes ago for me, I just uploaded all of my reactions that I filmed this morning. Um, so yeah, this video will be going up like a few hours time just to, you know, bridge that gap. But if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like, comment and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe's Thoughts Wrestling. I'm hoping to feel better within the next couple of days. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.